Welcome back to more Ghost Trick Phantom Detective, and welcome to Chapter 11. In the dead of night, the Justice Minister's daughter has been abducted. The kidnapper's demand? The execution of the death row prisoner Jowd to be carried out tonight. Lynn says the execution is a mistake, and I believe her. And so I'm paying the kidnapper's hideout a visit to see what I can find out about the abduction. What took you so long? Your instinct was right, beauty, my dear. Ooh! They had that restaurant surrounded. Took me forever to shake him, and now my poor bike is ready for the scrap heap. Next time, maybe you should make it a tricycle so you don't hurt yourself. Oh, that hurts! But that's okay. That's why I love ya. Be a little more gentle with our valuable hostage, please. Yes, yes, always keep a smile on a lady's face. Right, my dear? There, see that beauty? Now there's a smile blooming on your face, my dear. I don't even know what is... I don't know what's wrong with this man. He's got some issues. He's a little bit too devoted. That hair is horrible, by the way. Hers are fine. It's like a... Yes, a wry smile. I'm going out for a breath of fresh air. You're on guard duty. All right, I'll dream of you until you return. Why don't you open the trunk for our guest? I will, beauty. I was just taking a little breather. Dream of me. I'm going out for five minutes. All right, little lady, let me open the trunk. Beauty. Looks like the Justice Minister's daughter really has been kidnapped. Something else is bothering me too. I don't think I've ever been in this room before. Something about it is giving me a sense of deja vu. I've seen it before. Well, you know the you know the drill, guys. Adventures. Taking something precious to manipulate others. So that's what kidnapping is. The dirty tricks those without the powers of the dead come up with. However, if I take that precious thing back, their power vanishes. Now then, time to see how the Justice Minister's little girl is doing before the guy wakes up from his dream of beauty. Yuck! 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 Whenever I possess a door like this, for some reason I get the urge to send something flying with it. These ghost tricks are kind of addictive. Burn brighter. The pot that might change things. Should I possess something? Ah, oh, it's probably gonna do something to that star. Aha! A patch. That's what I like to see. Swing! Looks like that thing's gonna be stuck for the next forever. Well, I know what to do at this point. Now that I've done that, what now? 
Doesn't look like you reach anything else. Quite a few things in here. Um, darn. I can't reach it from here. Got close. Balance toy. <laughs> That was unnecessary. Oh. Just my imagination. Hmm. Those streamers were there. Well, oh well. It seems they caught on the balance toy. Hmm, but it's a cutscene, so it doesn't actually do anything for me. It's one of those things where you light with fire, right? As long as there's a light in the room, is something like this really necessary? But what if something could be lit? I just wanna need another core to reach the trunk. But if I make one, we may have something here. Maybe now that I've angled it, we we might have something. Again, I'm just trying to test things out. Wait a minute, there's another party popper. Well, we found our solution. If you haven't figured out the solution, don't worry. You're not you're not a bad person. So, let's go up here and head back to the beginning. Everything's out of its reach. So here's the plan. We'll get to burn brighter in the hopes that that's what's gonna get it to go, so... Aha! Set the candle there. With that, we have a solution right in front of us. And obviously we need this angle here to burn this, to drop this probably so we have a core. So, at this point we lower this, that's right. There we go. Let's let it rip. Ha <laughs> ha! 
I'm in. Here we go. What? Um. What? What in the? What's going on here? How is she conveniently comfortable in there? And more importantly, that's Camila. Is she really the daughter of the Justice Minister? Oh, just my imagination. Ah! Wait, no, it's not. What's with the fun book and juice? Like I said, always keep a smile on a lady's face. I wanted to treat our guests well. How about treating me well? I'd like some bread and milk, please. At your service, my dear. Be back in a flash. Um, Mr. Um, yeah. Yes, cute little lady. More juice, perhaps? All you have to do is ask. Have I been kidnapped? Oh, don't cry. There's nothing to be afraid of. Note that I haven't answered your question. The surroundings are miserable and filthy, I know, but we just ask for a little patience. Don't say those awful things about my house! What? This house is where I used to live. Well, don't we pick awkward places. What? I apologize, little lady. I'm the one who's miserable and filthy. Forgive me! What's the meaning of this? Why here at the girl's old house? Don't ask me. It was the other party in the deal who chose this location. Oh, uh, oh, I see. It's been empty for five years and apparently nobody ever comes here. But never mind that. What about bread and milk? Oh, of course! Wonder Bread will work! And T.G. Lee! Get the cheap stuff. Don't get the cheap stuff. You just read your book and drink your juice. But, but I want to go home. But this is your home, you said that. Fuck! Not quite yet. This dilapidated place was Camila's old house? What's going on here? What in the world? Why does she have a core? When I helped her out of Lynn's apartment, she didn't have one. That must mean... She must have died sometime after that. It also means somebody else must have saved her. Hey, whatever. It allows me to talk. Who's that? Oh, oh is, is that you, Missile? Sorry, I'm not Missile. I'm Sissel. I know, it's really confusing. Sissel, um, I'm Camila. Camila, so it is her. So, uh, what happened to me? I can hardly tell the poor little thing this is the land of the dead. The land of the dead! My dead! Darn, I forgot there are no secrets or thoughts that are to your own here. You relax, you're not dead. This, this isn't the first time you've been here, apparently. I don't remember anything like that. Wait, maybe I do. You do? Looks like she does remember being saved. Hmm, so there's some other dead person out there with special powers, huh? Anyway, I don't want to press her if she doesn't remember dying. You might have asked you a few questions about something else. Sure, go ahead, sissy. Sissy? Alright. Spent two minutes, already got a fucking nickname. Lynn asked me to do something for her tonight. I know about that part. She asked you to go to the chicken kitchen on Dead End Drive. Yeah, but I never got there. Now I wish I could say I'm sorry to her. I never should have gone through the park, goddammit! Uh, what park? Timzik Park. It's a shortcut. Is that where the kidnappers grabbed you? 
Yeah, Lynn always said, I don't like that park! It's scary things happen there! Temzik Park, huh? What am I gonna do? Lynn's gonna be mad. She is, how come? Because I left it there. The, the music box thing. That's right, the music box. That's, that sucks. The music box was hidden in the apartment. I finally found it with a little luck and courage. Guess where it was? I don't know. Where? I'll pretend I don't know. You know, you don't have to humor me. Welp! So what happened to it? I hid it in the bushes before it happened. Just before? Ah, oh, just before you were kidnapped, huh? I don't want the Batman to take it, so I hid it. Bet it's still in the park. You did well. So the music box is in the park. I'll let Lynn know. Really shouldn't think anything, to be honest. She's clearly hearing all of them. So, this is your old house? Yep, this is where I lived until five years ago. But now I live with Lynn and, and, and Missile and all kinds of stuff. Also, one moment. Oh, that's wonderful, ain't it? Lynn is like a big sister to you, isn't she? Yep, she's a detective, you know? She's a hero. Also, P.S., there's a lawn mo there's a lawn guy outside at four in the afternoon. Yes, you are an asshole, you guy. I'm talking to you. Get away from my house! Oh, well, she is a hero, huh? By the way, about your father... Is he the Justice Minister? My father's gone. Gone? I guess he passed away? That's not it. My dad... He's gonna die and it's all cause of me! What do you mean? Are you that cold-blooded girl? Why would you say that? It's called an execution. My dad is a detective. Oh, good gravy. Your father's Detective Jowd? Yes. What in the ever-loving fuck? Five years ago, something really bad happened, like a scary dream, but it was real. Five years ago, the murder. It was Mom's birthday that day. Oh God, that's horrible! My mom and dad were working, and I was home by myself, and then I had an idea I was going to surprise mom, so I set up that contraption. Aw, oh, I'm not going to voice you because you're silhouetted, and we'll probably not see your face. Oh my fucking god. I still can't believe it happened. I it wasn't supposed to work like that. Supposed to give you fucking party poppers and shit, not a gun! I know that contraption. I know how it was supposed to work. Party poppers and a cake. A birthday message. My dad told me not to tell anyone. Just leave it to me. He said. My dad wanted to be executed. He asked them for it. But I wanted to tell everybody it wasn't his fault. My dad said what I saw was a bad dream. He told me to forget it. This is all unbelievably tragic. I can't believe it. This little lady is Detective Jow's daughter. Which more importantly means the kidnappers are idiots. I just can't tell her. I can't tell her why she was kidnapped. 
Why was I kidnapped, goddammit? Well, fuck. There are no... <laughs> I'm such an idiot. Sissy, you're not gonna talk to me anymore. I think we better get you out of here first. We can talk more later. Fine. I'm gonna rescue you now. Hold on a little longer. Okay, but we'll talk later. Don't forget, you promised, sissy. I think I got a little bit too much information. And that time he got the bread and milk? What took you so long? I traveled the entire town in search of the finest bread and milk for you, my dear. But it's late and all the shops are closed. You checked one, didn't you? Actually, it was a gas station and they shot at me. We're leaving this place right now. Well, but he's not here yet. If we couldn't meet the restaurant, were we supposed to meet here? Yes, and he's the one who chose this location. I don't like this one bit. We have to run around doing all this extra work, all for the sake of his deal. Be quiet. Gah! It can't be helped. This place is too dangerous. I told you, my sixth sense is very strong. Alright, as you wish, beauty. I feel it. I sense something here in this room. Alright. Is somebody there? Can you hear me? Uh, yo, what's up? How you doing? I can sense your presence. The next time I sense you, the child will die. Remember that. Well, that is a bit of a problem. That is actually a lot of a problem. Pardon me, little lady. So, what are we gonna do now? Like, anything interesting? Oh, God! You know, you gotta let the book, um, you know, the book, it's the, the juice is all over my pants, and you, you don't care, do you? Yeah, I, I thought so. Well, that's awkward. Actually, that's the most awkward I felt all day. Yeah! All of a sudden, I'm left behind alone. Alone in a room that stole that little lady's smile five years ago. The little lady's gone now, leaving me with only a few new facts. A few very heavy, very sad facts. Does Lynn know all about this? One of the things stands out in my mind. I can sense your presence. Some of that kidnapper's final words. Do those two know? Do the kidnappers know about the powers of the dead? 